Why has your character Jorge created this haven for himself in the Scorch? Because he's a rebel. He, he refuses to, to bow down to the cranks or allow them to get him and infect him. He refuses to be a part of the system that he knows is a, a betrayal. He knows that they're going to suck everything they can out of every person they can to save themselves. So, uh, and Jorge is a tough guy. He's a badass. He can't go against Wicked, but at least he can create a safe haven for he and the person he's trying to save, Brenda. Okay, and then um, Rosa, can you talk about Brenda's relationship with Jorge? Sure. Um, I haven't been able to talk about that today, actually. I just yeah. realized I just got asked that question. Um, Jorge, I love how sort of ambiguous it is, in a way. Um, we obviously have a history together in the Scorch. I was um, dejected from society when I was 15 and thrown out into the Scorch and um, was, you know, trying to scrape by and Jorge takes me under his wing. So there's like a total salvation story there. I mean, he takes me in as, as one of his own, but you know, he's, it's, you're so many things to me in my character. You know, you're this father figure. You're this sort of, um, we have this chemistry that isn't necessarily familial and we're um, co-survivors. You know, we're just, we're, we're like arranged marriage in a way. We're like mm -hmm. an arranged thing where we have to get along, but we do get along and we're like partners and we're, we're through it thick and thin. You know, this is my family. It's like chosen family. Um, and in the Scorch, that's, that's gold. Great. And then for the both of you, what do you hope audiences take away from seeing the Scorch trials? I hope they, they get a, a chance to really enjoy themselves and really have fun in this movie. I think the movie is meant to be uh, such a wild and wonderful ride, but I hope they also take away that, you know, why we're really here. I mean, th this series is very, very special in that it links people together on a different level. It's about how, who you can rely on, who you can trust, and who you can trust to do the different things that all every one of us is good at. And that's what makes the movie great, you know. Uh, we're, we're looking for a leader, we're looking for a protector, we're looking for someone to deal with logistics, we're looking for people who are physically stronger than others to run ahead and scout. It's about, this is how the world's gonna get saved. And in our world of the Scorch, it gets saved by people working together as a family, as one, and knowing of their strengths and also knowing their weaknesses. I hope they take away that I'm the next Tom Cruise. <laughs> I want to be on the side of a plane. Um, no, I, I, I echo all of those sentiments. I, I hope that, you know, I feel like our fans are very emotionally intelligent. You know, mm -hmm. like they're able to, you know, invest themselves in these characters to the, you know, congratulations of James Dashner, but um, they're able to open up to these characters and, um, I think it's because they themselves are sort of looking for that hope and and they're asking those same sort of internal questions. Um, and that's, you know, it's nice to see that. It's nice to see that represented when you're a kid and also have like, you know, these like scary cranks running at you and like making you jump out of your seat. You know, it's an epic, fun popcorn movie. And we really hope the fans understand that, that this movie came together through grace. It's like a grace and synchronicity. We have a great director who's young, who gets it, who's not only an artist uh, and somewhat of a genius on the computer as well, but also understands people. And we have a studio that you know takes chances with a lot of different movies. And they took a chance on this. This is not a $100 million movie. This is a movie that's made through sweat and blood and, and commitment. But the studio believed in the combination of people that came together and have treated us beautifully. And they're going to see, they're going to see the reward of that because this, they, they, we've made a great movie, you know, and, uh, and also a series that grows. You know, you have the first movie, which is very interesting, but it's contained. And you have the next movie that's a little bit bigger, but the world becomes bigger and deals with larger issues. And then we're gonna have a third and a fourth movie that are gonna be equally as exciting. The number one thing is entertainment here. But then when you sprinkle all these other, you know, mythological little viewpoints in there, uh, it becomes something else. It becomes something you can go, wow, wait a minute, I gotta sit up and really, really look at this. Is this reflective of our world? Could be. Is this reflective of, of where society is going? Hey, it's possible. Uh, but in, in the end, you know, you want to be with a winner, and uh, these gladers are winners because they're tenacious, and they're sensitive, and they're not going to give up.